Hello, everyone, and welcome to the session in which we will discuss the statement of cash flows. Cash is king. Without cash, companies cannot survive. It's the oxygen of every company. Therefore, we need to understand where is the cash coming from, the inflow of cash, as well as the outflow. Where are we generating cash from, and where are we spending the cash? So in this series of lectures, we're going to discuss the statement of cash flows. And the first session, which is this session, I will discuss the statement of cash flows as an introductory. I will give you an overview, the purpose of it, what sections are there, what each section entails, the big picture. Then what we'll do next is we would look at each section separately. And there are three sections, which are the operating section, investing section, and the financing section. For the operating section, we're going to have two of them, the indirect method and the direct method. There are two ways to compute the operating section. Then we'll work one or two examples to kind of consolidate everything that we learn. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, farhatlectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's gonna help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. Starting with the purpose of the statement of cash flows, it provides information about good stuff, cash inflows, the pluses, which are the receipts when we receive cash, where is cash coming from, and obviously cash outflows. We have to run the business, we have to consume cash, we, we make payments. Who are we making the payments to and for what purpose? For a particular period of time, just like the income statement, the statement of cash flows covers a period of time. But basically, if you want to summarize the statement of cash flow, it explains the changes in cash. What happened to your cash? Did it go up and did it, or did it go down? And for what purpose? Why? What were the reasons for that based on the cash flow statement? It helps provide answers to very important business and business questions, such as what are the sources of our cash? So where is cash coming from? Remember, cash inflows. Now, let me just kind of give you real quick three sources of cash. A company can generate cash through revenues when they make sales. That's one source. They can bring cash through equity by selling stocks or they can sell debt or bonds. Usually those are the three main sources of cash, revenues, equity, and debt, usually. Also, you want to know what are your cash consumptions? Usually, where do you, where do you, where do you spend your cash? Well, to operate the business, Sometimes you buy back your own stock. For example, you make investments, investments in your company. You buy, you buy your, uh, you buy assets, long-term assets, property, plant, and equipment. Sometimes you buy back your own stock, which is called treasury stock, and sometimes you pay off debt, just like you borrow money. You pay off debt. This is where the cash is consumed. And in in a nutshell, when you net these outs. It's going to explain the changes in cash. I'm showing you the main component so you have the big picture. But formally, the statement of cash flow consists of three sections, and we need to be familiar with all three sections. One is the operating section. I'm going to give you the big picture. We're going to have a one whole session about this section, and we're going to have one whole video about each section separately. But the operating section, from the word operating, it deals with operating the business. And how do you operate the business? You operate the business through revenues and expenses. Well, guess what? It's going to convert your net income into cash net income. What does that mean? It means you are going to take your accrual net income and convert your accrual net income into cash net income. And this is what the operating cash flow would look like. So here's your income statement based on accrual accounting, accrual accounting, and this is your income statement in quote based on cash basis. That's the first section. We'll have a whole session about this. The second section is called the investing section. This section explains the changes in your investments. From which perspective? Cash flow perspective. Now, usually there are two types of investments you can make. Well, one of them is purchasing 
and obviously selling property, plant, and equipment. So sometimes you might purchase building, trucks, vehicles for your business, long-term assets. That's one way, that's one, that's one part of the investing section, investing in yourself, or you can invest in other companies, stocks, and bonds. So what, you, what else can you do? You can invest in other companies. So this is usually how you would invest in yourself, either in yourself or and what I meant to say, this is what the invest in section involved. Either invest in yourself, invest in yourself means investing in your property, plant equipment, or invest in other companies, okay? And those companies, what we're, what we're discussing, their bonds, you lend them money, or you buy their own stocks. Simply put, we are looking at, on the balance sheet, we examine the long-term asset section, because both property, plant, and equipment, and investments are long-term investments usually investments when you buy it to hold it for a uh, for a longer period of time the third section is financing section well how do you finance yourself well this section explain how the company finance itself how do you finance yourself you finance yourself from your own companies from your own companies not other companies notice because other companies deal with investments stocks and bonds so the company can sell stocks they can sell bonds this is how they finance themselves so the financing section deals with that section so the three sections are operating so what we're going to do we're going to have cash flow from operating and this could be negative this could be positive you could have positive or negative we're going to have this is the first section the second section is cash flow from investing this could be positive this could be negative cash flow from financing this could be positive this could be negative then what you do is you net them out and this either could be increasing cash or decreasing cash so it's either positive or negative this is either or when you net them out then you will take the change and you net the change with the cash at the beginning of the year to come up with your ending cash balance so simply put all what you're trying to do is find the difference between your cash at the beginning and the end and this will be this number here and from this number you would know what happened where did the cash came from or where, where was the cash consumed was it through operating investing or financing now i'm going to dive a little bit more in the big picture about each section separately what goes under each section for example operating section when it's an inflow of cash where does the inflow of cash come comes from usually from customers so under operating the main source of inflow of cash is from customers from operating now you could also have dividend revenue for example if you invest in in, in other companies stocks they might pay you some dividend well the revenue that you receive is considered money to be used in your operating section you might have some money in the bank account and it will earn you interest interest revenue is an operating activity you also might rent for for others you might have a building you might rent a piece of equipment you might have some asset to rent you might have rent revenue but mainly in financial accounting what we deal with mainly the main source of cash from operating section is cash received from customers but don't worry we're going to look at this section separately now how about cash outflow in the operating section well you need to operate the business if you're selling goods you're going to have one of the big one of the largest outflow is cost of goods sold you might have to pay salaries to employees taxes and many 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 operating expenses such as insurance utilities you name it there are many expenses all the expenses are negative cash flow negative operating cash flow so this is going to be positive then it's going to be the negative then you net them out to find out whether this section is positive or negative now obviously as a business owner you want this section to be positive. It could be negative. You could be operating your business and not making cash, but you really want this to be positive. It could be negative. Under investing, this is a review. You could have an inflow of cash. You could have an out, outflow. Under the inflow, it's when you sell sales of property, plant and equipment, land, building, uh, warehouses, vehicles, trucks, computers, furniture. When you sell them, they're going to generate cash and that cash will go under investing if you sell stocks and bonds or when you collect the loans when if you lend money you are the lender here and you collect back your money that's an inflow of cash under investing 
when you sell the stocks of other companies, of other companies, when you sell the bonds of other companies that you own, that's an inflow of cash. Well, guess what? The outflow of cash is the opposite. It's when you purchase those property, plant, and equipment. When you purchase them, that's going to be negative cash. because, And this is positive because when you sell them, it's going to be positive. When you purchase them, it's going to be negative. When you sell them, it's going to be positive. Also, purchase of investments and stocks and bonds and lending money. Notice the outflow is the opposite of the inflow, which which should make sense. Now, what this what this sh sh what should this section be positive or negative? It could be positive, it could be negative. But if the comp if the company is growing, if the company is still growing, this section should be negative. Now, why it should be negative? Because as you grow, you're gonna buy, you're gonna buy more property, plant, and equipment. As you're growing, you need more buildings, you need more trucks, you need more vehicles. So that's why. It's healthy when it's negative because you are growing. Also, it means you have extra money to make investments in other company stocks and bonds. If it's positive, it could mean one of two things. It means you are downgrading your company, you're selling property, plant and equipment and land, or you know your investments went up and you wanna cash out your investments or you're, you are collecting money. Again, it could be positive, could be negative. Negative doesn't mean bad, negative means you are growing. Positive means, uh, one explanation of it could be you are downgrading your company you are selling some property, plant, and equipment. The third section is financing. And how do you finance yourself? You finance yourself by issuing your own stock, by issuing bonds and borrowing money. Basically, issuing bonds and borrowing money is the same thing. One is you go to the bank. The other one is you go to the market. Both are borrowing money. And this is how you finance yourself. Now, I want to point something out here that when you borrow money and issue bonds, you are going to do what? You are going to pay interest. Guess what? Interest, when you pay interest, interest is considered operating expense. So although interest is related to bonds and borrowing money, but interest expense, interest expense is considered an operating activity, just FYI. Now, when you issue stocks, when you issue stocks, you pay, you pay dividend to the investors. Dividend is a financing activity. This is what GAAP wants us to do. This is you as GAAP to be more specific. So I just want to make sure you know this. Now under the IFRS, you might see, you know, slightly different rules. Nevertheless, the main idea is the same. For financing yourself, when it's negative, it means when you start to buy back your own stock. It's the opposite. You issue stocks or you buy back your own stocks. It's called the treasury stock. When you have extra money, you buy back your own stock. When you pay dividend, remember I told you if you have stocks, you might have to pay dividend. Dividend is a dividend payment is a financing activity. Dividend revenue is when another company pays you dividend because you have stocks in that other company that's considered operating. And obviously, the opposite of borrowing money is the redemption of bonds or debt. It means when you pay off your debt, when you pay off your debt, it's a financing activity. Now. Should financing be positive or negative? It could be positive. It could be negative. Usually, it's it's a positive when the company is still growing. When the company is growing, the company issues stocks. The company borrow money. They need money to grow because they don't have enough coming from operating. So they need to rely on another source, which is financing activity. When this section is negative, when the net amount is negative, it means the company is paying off debt, redeeming their debt, paying off their debt, paying dividend to investors, buying back their own stocks. This means the company reach maturity or maturity. It means they have enough cash to start to pay off the investors, the debt, and they have extra money to grow. Why? Because they are growing from operating. They don't need the money to be coming from financing, depending on what stage the company it is in its life, what's their strategic objective. Again, it could be positive, could be negative. We net them out. Now, what I did in this section, I only gave you an overview of the three sections, just an overview. Now, what are we going to do? Well, what, what are we going to do? We're going to take operating and dive into operating separately, dive into, into investing separately, dive into financing separately. But you want to see the big picture. Before we start, you want to look at the big picture. Make sure you understand the three sections. What goes under under each of the three sections? So when we dive in, you have a good idea. This is only one part of the statement of cash flow. We have two more parts coming. And this is a skeleton. This is a skeleton, this picture here of what we do expect. We're going to look at the formal one. Again, three sections, 
operating investing financing you find the change you add the change to the beginning of the year you get to the end in cash what should you do now you want to go to Farhat lectures look at additional MCQs additional lectures that's gonna help you understand this concept better invest in yourself if you are an accounting student a CPA candidate a CMA candidate a studying or doing this for work purposes the best thing to do is to invest in yourself good luck study hard and of course stay safe